Ne never dispose of the pen, I'm at it again, we close to the end, the older I get, emphatic I am, they try to pretend, they try to be friend, wreak havoc instead, look at the trends, can't comprehend my dramatic ascent, I'm heavenly sad, they try to condemn, ladies and gentlemen, I am the man, yeah, different vision but the same goes, big collision off the main road, that's the beaten path where my brain goes, fuck the devil's wrath off my halo, Hell hella stones, no Thanos, hella gold, no rainbow, this is hella genius in my brain lobes, hella gross as far as revenue goes bought me a net for these benjamins though you not a threat you an enemy though broke me a sweat killing enemy slow body offset all these feminine flows hardly upset but you testing me though all of these stats are depressingly low why your girl think i'm a specimen though drones and them perks is my medicine though there's no comparison black in america little too arrogant i just embarrass y'all niggas irrelevant i shouldn't mention it that's royal etiquette out of my element way too intelligent grab you a therapist send in my sentiments neck full of sediments cop me a tesla and skirt through the valley Drop the investment in Silicon Valley All this cake but I'm missing the patty Might mess around and just move to Miami Drums are so loud that they break in the chassis King of the grass like I'm Lionel Messi I am not crass but my mental is messy Mud in my glass while my pencil is sketching All these rappers but no one impressed me Most of them actors at labels is testing Testing, test, 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 testing, 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 testicles, testing, testicles, testicles, testicles. Welcome everyone to episode 13 hundo and 70 schwam of the Daily Mother Swell, the most muscular swole cast, beer cast, broadcast, gang cast, man cast, pimp cast, sleeves cast, and the slay cast in the realm because we're not flex, you flex, we all flex, oh, motherfucking biceps, what's going on, beaches, booshes, busters, hustas, and yo hoes, it's your boy, Papa Swoley O, back with another episode, Everson K2, a flick, uh, let's do it again. Oh, I hit the camera flexing on you. What's going on, beaches? I am. I'm setting up another cam for for Zip Papa Solio um, because I got like another cam. I'm gonna set that up so you'll see the you'll see the pup again soon. Yeah, she's like in the corner. You can't see her anyway. So no real loss. It's okay. She's being a beach. She's being a beach. It happens. She's being a beach. It happens and it happens frequently. It happens frequently. She's a little beach. She's a little beach. She was born that way. Just like her mother. <laughs> Shots fired. <laughs> easy, Papa Swolio. Easy, easy. Mama's going to be angry. She's going to be angry. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay to insult and to tease and to chide someone if they're not around to defend themselves. It's actually the best time. Everyone says, well, they can't defend themselves. Good. Isn't that better? Do, why, do you want to, why do you want to go after someone when they can defend themselves? Yeah. Hit them when they're down. Make fun of them when they're not here. It's like, why? Why? Then there's no conflict. You just, eh, you say it and move on. Everyone hears it. Ha ha ha, that person. Then everyone moves on. Look at this. Look at this. We got like a multicolored beard. It looks like I'm getting that little Mel Gibson action because I get the sun on the front beard and I get, I guess, shade on the side beard. It's like a darker and then it's a lighter. It's a darker and the plus you sleep on the side. What, do I have to sleep in my face now? I have to sleep in my face? Okay, don't be insulting people's fucking moms. Um, I'm insulting Papa Solio's mom. I'm, I'm, I'll insult your mom. Brenda's mom. Haha. <laughs> Look at Brenda's mom. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Look at Brenda's mom. I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you, Brenda. Don't be insulting people's fucking moms. I hope you're not getting fucking offended. That'd be fucking weird. Not the place. Not the time or the place. How we doing? What's going on? What's the good word? How are we pumped today? How are we doing? Swole text in the fucking house. Swole text in the house. How my beautiful beach is doing. What's up, Mario? What's up, John? What up, bro? Christine Z. Twitch for the win. Hey, we got our Twitch follower, everyone. Hey, Twitch follower. Congratulations. You're on Twitch. That's extra bonus points. Extra bonus points if you're on Twitch. 
and you're watching on Twitch. So if you want extra credit, eh, go watch on Twitch. Extra credit, I guess. I don't know. Regular credit. You get credit from no matter where you watch. I don't really care. I don't really care. So let's see. How many of you have already, let's do a little hashtag, Swoltex for the win, Swoltex hashtags. Let's do a little bit of around, uh, around the horn and see how many of you have downloaded the new Seven Pillars series. If you haven't yet gotten yours, I made it extremely easy. So it's in the description, and it's also when you go to SwolnormousX.com right at the top. Right at the top, you get a link directly to your download. So um, because it's just a new release and you have the links to click on, but you could also go to SwolnormousX.com and click on the link in the in the announcement, you you can't miss it. You go to the site, it says download the seven pillars in fucking red. So it's there, you can't miss it. It'll hit you in the face. It'll put nuts just all over your face. So you have it, so there's no excuse. And we got some great stories today. Let's see, we got some great stories today. Great, great, great stories today. How many of you are listening to King Darius at the gym? That's right. A lot of you think because you haven't heard all his songs. I, if I play a song that I haven't played in a while, you're like, oh my God. New drop from King D, new drop. Um, he has a lot of drops that I haven't played. I play a lot of the same ones on repeat, but I'll play some I'll play some other ones, but some of them just really hit harder. Some of them just really fucking hit. Some of those really fucking pop. They really fucking pop. Some of those are just perfect for an intro song. Sometimes I'm like, meh, meh, meh. Sometimes there's certain ones I really like. Some some of them I really, really like for the intro. So I play those. Mel Gibson hearts. Hey, look, I'm not, I'm not saying let's not get into everything about Mel Gibson, but the beard, the beard has like that white and black thing. It's like, an, it's kind of like a black and white cookie. It's very nice. It's very nice. Swole Tex enjoying some sweet potatoes with avocado right now. Yeah. And for fam, those of you that are unlimited members, make sure you get back to me on those Swole Tex. I'm reaching out. I'm like, Hey, for some of you, I'm like texting you. Um, how come I haven't heard from you in a couple days? Yeah, you can respond. I just get to them as soon as I possibly can. Got a lot of you fuckers. I'm texting a lot of you beaches. So make sure that you drop me a line. You know, let me know what you're pumping today. When I ask a question, when I reach out, you fucking answer me. A lot of you do. I'm talking to a lot of you. I was talking to a lot of you this morning. So make sure you plug in. Make sure you plug in and do as you're told. Come on. Fucking do it. Come on. Yow. Yow. Like an Oreo. It is. <laughs> like a Mel Gibson Oreo face. He's such an Oreo face. Remember the, um, remember the Borat? He has a real chocolate face. He has a real Oreo face. Mel Gibson and his real Oreo face. Let's see if we can pull up a picture of Melly. Melly. We'll call him Melly. Should we call him Melly? Like Oreo. Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson, he's like Oreo. He's like Oreo. Let me move this over. Why is that open twice? Is that open twice? Like a double, triple. Let's see. Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson. What if I type in Mel Gibson Oreo face? What do you think will happen? I, I just came up Mel Gibson face. Where's the Oreo? Mel Gibson. All right. So here, you know what? This is funny. This is funny. Let, 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 let's actually talk about this for a second. So if you type in Mel Gibson Oreo face into Google, this is what I just did. You get... I got Russell Crowe first, then I have Mel Gibson with no beard, then there's Keanu Reeves. When you click on images, then I have Mel Gibson with no beard, an old Mel Gibson, another Keanu Reeves, a Lethal Weapon 2 movie cover, James Garner, Paul Newman, and there's like no Mel Gibson beard, so no Oreo phase. Now let's go into Mel Gibson beard. This is like the important stuff that we cover. This is something that, we, that this has to get, this has to get this has to be talked about. No, this has to be talked about. In the meantime, holy shit. Now, well, that gets for fucking, that, holy fucking Christ. Okay, I was curious about where the beard was. Um, yeah, I don't know if I want that. I changed my mind. Mm, okay. Yeah, not so... Let's see here. Not so enthralled with the uh, with that look, to be honest. Let's see. Open a new window, an incognito window. I don't want Google to know that I'm looking at Mel Gibson's beard. Should I use DuckDuckGo to look at the beard? Braveheart beard. Let me close this. Oh, I just closed it. This is interesting stuff. Save. Open image a new tab. There we go. There we go. 
Okay. Now we got it. There we go. You see? You see? There we go. That's that that that's a decent one. That's a decent one. You should have seen the other one that I pulled up. See, that's not that's not that, that's not bad. That looks kind of it looks kind of weird. He looks like a foxtail. He has like a a foxtail. He has a foxtail face. He has a foxtail face or something. Um, maybe it's this one. This is the one that I looked up and I was like, oh god, I don't want that. And he looks like he looks fat, dude. I haven't looked. When, oh my! I didn't want to save that <laughs> save image as. Now Google's only going to show me pictures of Mel Gibson's face. All right, here's the one that I was. Here's the one that I was scared of. Now this is what I'm scared of. Now this is a shitty quality. Now that's a really shitty quality. That's not fair. That's not fair to anyone's beard. Um, here we go. Jesus Christ. Oh, this guy's jacked up now. Is, is he preparing for a role like with Santa Claus? Look at this shit. What the fuck is that, bro? What the fuck? Dude, what's going on with your face? It matches perfectly. My beard used to look like that. I have ads and I have like videos rolling around because like, like, there was a long time where I didn't know how to groom a beard. I didn't know that I had to really take care of my beard, nor did I really care. So I couldn't get it straight. Balms wouldn't work. Oils wouldn't work. Nothing worked. It was all wavy and shit. So people were like, how do you get your beard so straight? I fucking straighten it. You have to straighten it. That's why women take care of their fucking hair. Everyone's like, oh, come on, you fucking faggot, straightening your beard. Um, I don't want it wavy and sticking out to the fucking side like this guy. That's the way it looked. You take a little straightener, it takes two seconds, boom, 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 boom. This is where people just don't understand. Some people's beards, I'm sure, are all curly and just kind of like nice and even. No, not mine, not this guy. This shit is like, I wake up in the morning and I will literally have my beard. I will literally have my fucking beard out to here. It'll look like there's like a hole here. And it'll be, it depends on how I sleep. Sometimes I wake up, oh, it's not so bad. Sometimes after a shower, you know, the condition, it's just like nice. Right now it's a hot mess. Now it needs to be maintained. He does look like a fucking zebra. I guess that tie's not helping. Whatever. That was weird. That was a weird little tangent. I'll leave that Google window open. You guys always like the Google. You like the Google. You like the Google. You like it when we do a little Googs now and again. Googs are good. It's always good. A little, a little goog, a little goog here and there is, uh, is acceptable, is acceptable. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of the <laughs> alcohol has taken a toll on that face. Ooh, Mel Gibson's taking a, taking a hit, taking a hit on that fucking face. <laughs> oh my God. Alcohol is taking a toll on that face. What alcohol and like anti-Semitic rants? Wasn't that that what he's doing? Or, or was that him? Was that him with the anti-Semitic rants? Or was that him with like the drunken with his wife or girlfriend? Wasn't he drunk and like leaving like voicemails or something? Kind of like the extreme version of a tweet. You know when you when people get fucked up and they drop something on Twitter and then everyone hates them for it because they just get run out of town. Because they wrote something on Twitter and people are like, why would you do that? Why would you go online and post things when you're wasted? I mean, I get it. Like if you don't, it's one thing if you don't have, I mean, it's different if you don't have a, a following. Like if you're not famous, if you are, you need to like legit lock that shit down. If you're super famous, you need to lock down what you're doing, <laughs> what you're, what, what you're doing on, um, on social Oh, nice, dude. Cast you to my 55-inch TV because I need to use my phone. This is intense. How many of you are how many of you are watching this on the big screen? You guys like it on the big screen, don't you? Don't you? Don't you? Super smooth. 60 frames per second. We're fucking fancy right now. We're fancy balling. If you go, if you want to if you want to see where this podcast has come from, make sure you go and check the previous episodes. Like when I'm I'm talking about going go to the archive, yo. Go to the fucking archive. You you can watch that on the big screen. Uh, I don't know. You can just watch it from far away. <laughs> You'll see between the pixels, probably. <laughs> You'll see up in the middle. I have one more one more picture that I need to um, share for today. We got a great. Well, we'll actually probably start with this one because it's a huge, huge success and a big one that I do want to share. So let me get this. Let me close this out. 
drag this over. Dun, dun, dun. I want to make sure we get this one foist. Give her a little congratulations. A little congratulations. Swole fam. And a reminder, I think I already told you this, but if you haven't yet checked out your copy of The Seven Pillars, make sure you do so. And make sure you do so uh, at swolenormousx.com. Okay? Swolenormousx.com, and you can get access to The Seven Pillars right at the top of the screen. So right at the top of the screen. Why is this? What the fuck? Whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. Hold on. Uh-oh, broke it. I broke it. Yeah, so if you want the seven pillars, just go to soulnormousx.com and it's linked at the top in big red. So if you didn't yet download, it's also in the post description. Hair is rough, but in my world, once my hair is done, it's fire. Always watch on my 50. Sweet. I wish when I'm at work, you should broadcast it. There should be a big flat screen, a big LCD or LED right at the front. Big screen it? Hell yeah. Hells yeah. You look great with a 55 inch. Oh, thank you. Is it big enough for you, Diana? Is it big enough? Usually it is. I mean, I've done 60, but I mean, <laughs> I don't like to humble brag, humble brag, 55, humble brag, you know, yow, 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 you know, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. I'll get there. I'll get there. I've, I've, I've had someone say 70 inch. I'm like, Ooh, <laughs> I'm ready to start streaming. I could stream in 4K and I'm totally down for that. I think my bandwidth, I think I might, I think I would break something. I might actually try it, but I don't think, I don't think the upload would be sufficient. It's really not necessary to stream in 4K, but I totally would. And I'm able to, if I could, but I think the bandwidth would, I think this is plenty. I think this is plenty, but we're ready to upgrade. Just so you know, just so you know, fam, the daily swole is ready. The Daily Swole is ready to upgrade. Ready to do it. Ooh, that coffee had a little funk at the bottom. Let me pour it back in. Do a little... Do a little pour and a shake up. Mm. How many of you do like a coffee reservoir? I like drinking coffee from a cup. I like my cup. This is my cup. Obviously, it's my Daily Swole cup. I like drinking out of this. And I know it gets in my beard, but I just don't care. I just like it better. It tastes better. It tastes better when I'm holding something like a chalice. I'm like, ah, the cup of gains. It is here. The cup of gains. Rub your beard in the cam. Mm. Beard in your face. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. It's true. When you're making gains. Every fucking day. I'm so much swoller than you. I hate to say it, but it's true. I'm so swo. I'm so swo. I'm so swole. It's true. Oh shit! We have a uh, another card today. Oh shit! Oh shit! Boom boom. Swole fam. So hashtag swole fam for the card today. Um. I need to get another stack of cards. It's over there. But the card today is SwoleFam1371. So that's the card. And I will give that away at the end. Um, the card, I don't have another blank one. I have to go over there and get one. So I'll get it afterwards. Hashtag SwoleFam for the card of the day. If you want to win cards just like these, the seven pillars with the number on the back, make sure that you do the hashtag SwoleFam. It's on the board behind me. It's on the board behind me. Thank you, Sherry. I appreciate it. I appreciate the love. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I just love coffee first. I thought it was made of paper. Well, it's an, it's an imitation. It's an imitation of the famous New York coffee cup, which I like. But it's very, very, very not paper. Very not paper. You just think like the, either, either I have a ton of these or it's just the most, this most, the, the most defiant paper ever. The most defiant paper ever. I just use it over and over again. It's starting to break apart and taste a little bit like paper, but it's all good. Swole fam for life. Okay, so that's the hashtag for today. Go after it, fam. Go after it. Okay, so we covered some important topics, similar, uh, not dissimilar to uh, Mel Gibson's beard. So if you're just joining us, that's what this thing looks like. 
And that's kind of like what mine's kind of going towards. I have a little bit lighter in the front and I have a little bit darker on the side because of the sun, because of who knows, because of sleeping on the side and body oil and stuff. I wash it, but who knows? I guess it just gets my face. There's just so much shade. I have to walk down the street like this. I have to start leaning to the side to get a little bleach going on the side. Maybe put a little lemon juice on the side. Anyway, that's Mel Gibson's face if you didn't know what it looks like. And that's what we're talking about. But I want to give a big shout out to uh, Sarah. So let's get this. Let's get the first topic of the day. Uh, this is Sarah uh, from the Swole Fam, and a big, a big round of applause and a lot of grunts oh, 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 for crushing it today, Sarah. She says, "Swole Fam stepped on the scale this morning. I set a goal when I started this to be 190 pounds by my 32nd birthday. I was 360 pounds." This is 170 pounds lost. I am crying. I am so proud of myself. It's been the biggest, hardest, best journey I've ever undertaken. My birthday is Sunday and I made it. I freaking made it. 30 pounds left to go. Personal improvement is a forever journey, but milestones like this make all the hard work seem less difficult. I'm so freaking proud. I can't with this. Wow. Thanks for all the support. Swole fam. So uh, some gorillas and some grunts in the comments. A little sour action. (laughs) Congratulations, sour. That's fucking awesome. That's fucking awesome. 170 pounds lost. 170 pounds lost. Holy shit. 170 pounds lost. So she's at 190 pounds. Isn't that fucking amazing? That is amazing. So good for you, Sarah. And if you didn't yet comment on this post, this happened recently. Um, So make sure you go and comment on these. These are all posts that are current. So make sure uh, this is, make sure you go and drop that uh, today after the podcast and go check it out. Big time. That's a big time post right there. That's fucking fire. That's fucking fire. So good shit. Congratulations. That's awesome. Oh, that's a great name. That's a great name. I can't wait to say it. I can't wait to say it. Uh, For those who are listening to the podcast, this is from Alexandra Fux. I know it's Fuchs or something like that, probably. I'm going to call you Fux. All right, Fuxy? Cool. Alexandra Fuxy. Good name. Good fuck. It's my favorite name ever. Alexandra Fux. Alexandra Fux. Um, I know it's Fuchs probably, but I told you I'm not going to say it like that. But congratulations. Welcome. I just joined the Swole Fam yesterday. (laughs) Yes. Yes, I can't wait. This is going to be so much fun. Please, please stay with us forever and ever and ever and ever. Why would you leave? But yeah, stay forever because I always want to say your name forever. Just joined the Swole Fam yesterday. I'm happy to be a part of this community. I've tried Elimination Diet on my own for the last week and now decided to join the Swole Fam. Welcome, Alexandra Fox. Yes, Fuchs. I'm going to have to say it both ways just so everyone knows. Oh my God, their name is Fox. But yeah, it happens. It happens. Every once in a while, you get a badass name like that, so respect, and that's a compliment. That's a compliment. I just love that. Fucking love it. What what a great day. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Oh, my God. On a Thursday, on a Thursday that I would get a a last name fucks today. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Fire. Fire, fire, fire. Yeah, Sarah, get some love in the comments. Congratulations. Congratulations. That is amazing. It's fucking great. That's fucking great. 170 pounds. 170 pounds. Why do you think, I mean, when you, when you look at that, you know, when you look at that and you see the comparison, okay, someone lost 170 pounds. That person was Sarah. So actually, let me go back to that post and bring it back up. So Sarah lost 170 pounds. Okay. And she's still going. This is just proof that you can lose. Why, why can Sarah lose 170 pounds? And why can't you? Right? Why can't you? Why can't Tess Holiday lose 170 pounds? Why can't Lizzo lose 170 pounds? It's because they don't fucking want to. They don't want to. It's part of their identity. It's part of why they're famous. If they lose weight, most people won't give a shit anymore. They lose their identity. They lose their pull. They lose their their pull and their polarization. They lose their leverage. They lose their audience. They lose their message. They just, they're nothing without obesity because they revolved around obesity. And what's unfortunate is that they've revolved their fame and their business and all their shit 
around being unhealthy because that's unhealthy. So you're evolving your, your business around being unhealthy. Just like the video I posted on YouTube today about the mukbang and the binge eating. I did another one on always hungry. And I mentioned, um, more like the topic, not necessarily her, but she did a video where she ate 31 fucking donuts. It's disgusting. It's fucking gross. Go have a donut. If you see anyone that eats shit like that and they're not making a YouTube video or they're not in a competitive eating competition, you would refer them to a psychiatrist. Like you need help. You need massive, literal medical attention. You need professional help if you're eating 31 donuts. But if you're making a YouTube video, oh, it's cool, promoted, 100,000 views, 200,000 views, lots of money, subscribers, ad revenue. Sure, we'll run Dunkin' Donuts ads before your video. We'll run McDonald's ads. We'll run, uh, we'll run Uber Eats ads before your video. That's all it is. That's all it is. It's fine if you're making money. All of a sudden, and the problem is, and I mentioned this in the video, we can touch upon it right now. Again, it's not so much that it's not her fault. She's making money by doing nothing. She's making ad revenue. She's getting either supplemental income or that's all her income. I don't know what the fuck she does, but she's making money. She's making fucking money. So why would you not do it? I mean, I could do it too. I'm sure I would have a, can you imagine my final, that would be a great troll account. I probably could lap if I did that. I wonder, it would just be ASMR. I would just be eating steak all the time. I could probably do a channel where I'm just eating food and people are just watching me eat and I'll probably pass and lap my current subscriber rate super fast. I'll probably grow a channel super fast. Of course, a lot of people would come and watch and follow and subscribe because they're already subscribed. So that would be artificial, but I'm sure if I just started binge eating, I would lose a lot of people here, but it would grow. It would grow. A lot of people would stay and be like, I can't believe you're doing that. I'd be trolling, of course, but I'm not sacrificing my health for that, for that, uh, experiment, but I'm sure it would case in point. Everyone else is fucking doing it. Everyone else is fucking doing it. What's going on, Holly? How we doing? How we doing? Welcome. Welcome back. Welcome. 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 Welcome from down under. Someone sat down a box of donuts at my office. Not sure why they had to do that. Oh, they weren't eating them or were they? Why is that such a social thing? It's such an easy, lazy, unhealthy thing. It's almost an insult. If someone brings donuts to work, oh, Jimmy brought donuts. They're cheap, it's garbage, and you're making people less healthy. You're fucking people up. Here, here's some cancer in a box. Go have at it. Here's some diabetes. Uh, no thanks, Jim. Appreciate it. Thanks for the offer. Thanks for being so kind. However, if you came in and brought like a bowl of broccoli, everyone would be like, what the fuck is that? I mean, I'd probably be like that too because I wouldn't eat it. <laughs> I wouldn't eat that shit either. But, um, you know, of course, if it's cooked properly and has fucking butter all over it. But you know what I mean? If you bring in a health food, you bring in, hey, here's a ribeye steak. Everyone be like, okay, for breakfast? Just don't fucking eat. Don't eat. How can anyone eat 31 donuts? Well, I mean, obviously you can. And that wasn't, all, that wasn't in one sitting, by the way. That video wasn't in one sitting. That was throughout the day. I guess her boyfriend's like, I went to get donuts. He's facilitating her being unhealthy. The illusion is that she's not big. She's probably fasting. She's probably starving herself. She's probably has exercise bulimia and she's exercising seven fucking hours the next day and doing cardio or just starving herself. There's no way you're eating that much and you're just skinny because you just eat like that all the time. She probably just starves herself and then binges once a day and then it's super unhealthy. Super unhealthy. But that's the big, that's the big misconception is that if you're not, if you don't physically look big, then you're, then you're, then you're healthy or it's okay. So for me, and that's where it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter if I look the way I look, if I'm sitting there eating 31 donuts, it's not healthy. It's not good. It's not a good idea. It doesn't matter what you look like in the moment. Just think about what it's doing to your body. And in the video that I posted today, again, it's on the Swolnormous YouTube channel. I was saying the only way you're getting food, the only way you're getting calories, the only way, pay attention, the only way, pay attention to this too. (coughs) Had to, had to, had to. It's my podcast. I'll do what the fuck I want. So I try not to blow your ear holes out. So those of you that are listening, 
So um, where was I? Every cell, every cell is getting energy and getting nutrients from what you're putting in your mouth. You're not getting it from the air. You're not getting it from your asshole. You're getting it through your fucking mouth. So what are you putting in your mouth? If you're eating shit, then you're creating your body out of shit. Is that enough information? Is that, do you need anything else than that? Whatever you're putting in your mouth, whatever, whatever you're putting in your mouth, including dirty, bleeding AIDS dicks, your body is creating itself through it. How are you building muscle? How are you storing energy? What is going to your brain to help you function? Well, your body is going to break it all down the same way. It's just macros. It's just counting calories. Not fucking true. Not true at all. Not true at all. True to an extent. True to a point. But obviously, we have figured out that the quality of the food ex matters extremely, but people do not want to admit it. People don't want to admit it. They only want to play about weight gain and weight loss and, oh, can I get shredded and still eat crap? I want to eat cheat meals. Oh, it's okay. You need a cheat meal because of this and that. You do not. You're such a, you're so full of fucking shit. People need more discipline. They need more purpose. They need to fucking stop making excuses. That's what people have to do. Stop making excuses. Stop making fucking excuses. So we're not, we're not exercising. We're not eating right. We're not meditating. We're stressed out to shit. We're doing shit we hate. We're around a lot of pollution. And it's, it's a compounded problem. Just like when you invest, you have compound interest, you have compound death and compound diabetes. You don't get diabetes overnight. But maybe she might, you might if you eat 31 fucking donuts. And no, you won't really get it overnight. But uh, your body ain't going to be fucking happy. That ain't a good look. Your body ain't happy about that. Okay, so congratulations, Sarah, for losing 170 motherfucking pounds. Motherfucking pounds. You fucking animal. You fucking animal. You fucking animal. All right, this post is from Schlinzy. Um, some people call her Lindsay, but I call her Schlinzy. Hey, Swole fam. New member here finally made the decision to get on top of my nutrition and lose some schweit. Currently obese at 24 years old, but I want to live at least 50 more. At least? Would you, what, 74? Did you go online and look up the average life expectancy of a female? It should, I hope it's more than 74. It should be, what? What is the average life expectancy now? 78 for women? All of you seem so positive. You should, at least 60 or more. 74? That's not old. All of you seem so positive, so I can't wait to get to know you and make some gains, or in my case, losses. hey -oh, I agree. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> welcome to the fam, Lindsay. Schwelcome, schwelcome, schwelcome. 74? Yeah. Come on, we gotta set our sights a little bit higher than that. 74 years old? I think, methinks you could live longer than 74. Methinks you could live longer than 74. If you're setting your goals and you're setting your heights and your sights, Set at 74, I think you're a little bit on the low end. I think you're, I think you're selling yourself short, especially nowadays with technology and stuff. But you don't want to rely on technology. People think, oh, I'll get my liver replaced later. I'll just booze now. It's not going to be that easy. You think there's just livers lying around and we just grow them super quick and it's super inexpensive and you'll have access to it. No, you're going to fucking die. <laughs> you're going to, you're going to have problems. You're not going to get a replacement. You're not going to be high on the list. You're, they're not gonna be able to grow one for less than 50 or a hundred or 500 K like not yet, not yet. Maybe wait a decade or two, but no, it's not like altered carbon. You go and you get a new sleeve. You have to fucking or altered was it altered carbon. Yeah, that was the name. Fucking great, great series. If you didn't watch it, I can't wait for season two. When the fuck is that coming out? I don't watch a lot of shit, but my God, what a fucking great, I love it because it's, I mean, in terms of realism, it's just logical. It makes sense. There's a lot of cool, uh, when does altered carbon season two come out? I'm stoked. If that's anything like season one, it's going to be nasty. Holy shit. Yo, February 20, 27th. Oh, it's coming. There's a teaser already. I would share it, but I don't know how I, Oh, I am so excited. I'm so excited. And no, I can't hide it. I'm going to take a screenshot and then send it to, send it to Mama Swilio. I'm so fucking stoked. Hey, everyone, February 27th. I'm going to mark my fucking calendar on that almost. 
That is fucking exciting. That is, I'm super stoked. Oh, what a great show. If you haven't seen it and you have Netflix, you're missing out. You're missing out. Go, go check it out. Fucking awesome. Yeah, you liked it? Awesome series. Watched it after it was mentioned on the podcast before. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. I tend to see the good, I tend to see the, I like to think that I have very good taste in shows and movies. And the reason why I say that is I like to think so. Um, but it's just because I also vet my shows and my time. It's community, it's environment, it's pillar number one. You know, that's kind of like what we're talking about today. When we talk about Swole Fam, we talk about, uh, we talk about, um, we talk about uh, the environment where you're letting in, but I vet things. I don't waste my time just watching anything. So it has to be something good. And I usually only complete things. I'm like, okay, this is good. It's worth my time, but it's great. That's great. I like to think I have good taste. I have good taste for me and that's all that matters. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, let's see, John, I got a friend who does cheat days. He runs and lifts weights. He looks the same year after year, merely remaining active as a cover-up that makes him feel involved and better. It's sad when people just do it to maintain or they do it to look the same. And if you're just doing it by your weight, if you're just doing it by what you see in the mirror, you're just running on a, a wheel as a hamster. You have to challenge yourself. You have to do better or your body will start to slide backwards. If you're not pushing to do better, if you're not training to get a little bit, you know, tr- you don't have to train as a power lifter or you don't have to train as a strong man, but train for strength, train for hypertrophy, train for mobility. You don't have to be, okay, I want to gain 50 pounds of muscle but you should invest to build muscle. The Good Place, no. I will I will not watch that show. That's the one where she's in heaven. I will not watch that. Nope. I will not. I will not. I will not. Sorry. Sorry. Not gonna happen. Ain't gonna happen. Anyway. I like that. I think good to fuck your show. It's all right. I've seen a few minutes here and there. I think Mama Soya watched it a couple times. I'm like, nope, 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 nope. Nope. I will not be using any more of my time for that. I usually pick one. I usually pick one thing where I have two things that I'll actually like, okay, let me watch that for entertainment. I don't do a lot of different things. Oh, let me watch that. Let me watch that. I rarely watch things. I rarely watch. It's more of an occasion, which is nice. I think it should be more like that. Instead of unplugging and just doing entertainment viewing all the time, I like to consume content, but I do it from educational. I'll listen or I'll read. I don't want to sit there and just watch. I don't want to sit there for two hours and watch a documentary. I just don't want to. I just don't want to. I could with with two hours, I could do I'd rather do something entertaining or I'd rather like learn information that's less biased. Some things are okay. Some things are okay. Depends on how it's portrayed. Most, most things are extremely biased except for long form conversation or books. I mean, books can be biased. Everything's biased. If it comes out of a human's mouth, it's biased, but you know what I mean? I don't do as much entertainment watching. So I filter, I filter, filter, filter. Mm, Let's see here. Okay. So I got, I just got super excited. I didn't realize it was coming out so soon. I've been waiting for it for a while. I've been waiting for Alter Carbon. Okay, we got some, this is a serious post. We have, all right, we need some help here. All right, Swole Fam, you ready? I'll give you a couple moments. You ready? We need, I need, I need the Swole Fam to strap in. Everyone strap in. Come on, here we go. Let's get everyone together. Get some water. Make sure you got your shit ready. And, uh, you know, let it fly if you need to let it fly. Get a little gas. Oh, shush, shush, shush. I'm going to, hold on. I got to do it. Ah, sorry. Thank you. Okay, here we go. This is from Lauren, and um, this is an important post, so make sure that you pay attention, and let's give Lauren the support and the guidance that she needs. And let me zoom out a little bit. Okay, this is from Lauren in the Swole Fam, and she says, Fam, this is not a woe is me or a sad post for sympathy, but I'm literally living in Struggle City. I'm a full-time advanced nursing student. My classes are half the length 
as normal classes and with all the gains and knowledge. I have been mentally and physically exhausted. I have classes that start at 7.20 with an hour drive before and end at 4 with an hour drive after. So 6.30 to 5. Now I posted about meal issues before and I have that handled. Good for you. Meal prep and bone broth is keeping me on the path, which is huge. Uh, first off, don't underestimate. Don't underestimate uh, what or how important nutrition is. Don't underestimate that. That's massive. Meal prep and bone broth is keeping me on the path. However, the workouts have got me out of sorts. I started the 90-day dash and I can't complete it. Not for lack of effort, but for being exhausted. I get home at 5, making dinner, and I'm exhausted after kids' homework, my homework, and studying. I'm doing the brain gains and extra meditation to relax me at night, but after studying, I am exhausted. I am having a, a hard time, he's time, I'm assuming hard time, bringing myself to exercise. It's been a real struggle. I'm mentally and physically exhausted after my days, and I feel like I'm not accomplishing much at all. I've lost 13 pounds, but I'm at a standstill. I can't seem to get myself motivated to do anything at all. I want to eat dinner and sleep. I need motivation. Tips on how to get through this. I'm not giving up or giving in. I drink tons of water provided for free through my school, as well as a healthy snack table for when we are in school, but I can't get myself to want to work out when I'm so tired. I don't know what to do or where to go from here. Help. So... Yeah. So read through this. I'll leave it up here while we discuss it. So there's a couple things. There's a couple things that I want to bring up from this post. Number one, uh, awesome job reaching out for the fam. Uh, awesome work. Like that's it, literally what has to happen. If you are a member of the Swole fam, if you don't post, if you don't share, no one's going to know. No one can help you. It's not like the information is there. The assistance is here. The support is here. The accountability is here. The training is here. The meditation is here. The yoga is here. It's all inside Swolnormous X and the Swole fam in terms of the support in the community and the accountability, it's all there, but no one knows what you're doing unless you put it there, unless you shave, unless, uh, sh shave. unless you shave, don't shave, um, unless you share. So kudos to sharing and to putting it out there. So, um, let's see here. So that first thing, that's a win. That's a win that you're doing that and you, you got locked down. Uh, another thing you're focusing on the negative and you're not giving enough credit to the important things that you are crushing. So you have your food handled. Uh, very few people have their food handled. Very few people are aware of the benefits of eating properly. Very few people are locking down their nutrition. That's not a little thing. Oh, I got my nutrition down. That's huge. That's pillar number two. So you have your community and you have your nutrition, your pillars down. Okay. You're meditating. You got pillar six. Okay. You're consistent with those things. So that's in part pillar seven. Okay. Are you doing yoga? So now we're looking at pillars three, four, and five for recovery. Okay, you're meditating, so you're kind of doing pillar four. So really, you're only three and five if you're not doing your mobility and you're not doing your training. So out of seven pillars, you kind of have like four and a half. You're doing great. You just need to adjust your schedule a little bit. Now, you might be thinking, how do I adjust my schedule? I would do it first thing in the fucking morning. I know it doesn't sound sexy. Um, you have class that start at 720 with an hour before. You leave at six. You can work out from five to 530. If you work out from 5 to 5.30, shower, get out of the house at 7, you'll get there 20 minutes early. Or you work out at 4.30 in the morning, you do it at home, which I'm assuming you're doing at home. Don't do it at night. You're going to be exhausted every fucking day. For anyone that works 9 to 5, 8 to 5, 7 to 5, 7 to 8, 12-hour shifts, do it before. Some of you might prefer to do it after, which is fine. If you're consistent and you're doing it after and you don't have lack of energy, if it invigorates you, if you look forward to it all day, everyone's different. That's why there's no, oh, it's better to work out first thing in the day. It's better to work out in the evening. I think it's better. If you had to choose, I would say it's better to work out first thing. But it doesn't mean that, I mean, better psychologically. Are you going to get more results if you work out first thing? Yes, if you're more consistent. I think if you start, I think if you do a workout first thing in the day, which is where I made most of my gains, or I mean, for when I first started, it was first thing because at the end of the day, I was exhausted. I went and did it first because I was ravenously hungry all day. I was eating all day. I was trying to bulk. Working out first thing lit me on fire and I just crushed it the whole day. It gives you energy all day. You don't need as much. You don't need coffee. Like you're worked out. You're fucking, you feel awesome. 
And then when you work out first thing, it's more likely that you're going to stay on your nutrition all day and you're going to stay focused because everything that you do afterward is to fuel and refuel your body from the workout. You don't want to work out and then eat shit all day because then you're just ruining the hard work that you put in. So it's important to do it first. I really think there's, that's the time. That's the time because then guess what? When you come home, you can meditate. You can do a little mobility. You could do a swollen seven. You could do a swolga class. You could do a yoga express and swollenormous X. And I want to reiterate. So that's done. Like you come home. You don't have half an hour when you come home. You could do 15, 20 minutes. You do a 10 minute brain gains and you do a swollen seven. That's less than 20 minutes. So just saying, if you don't have 20 minutes when you get home, I mean, how are you taking a shit? Are you showering? Like you can, you have 20 minutes or you do 10 minutes. You can tighten that up so you can do recovery in the evening, foam rolling, spend time with your kids, do your homework, eat, get a good night's sleep, get to sleep at 11, 12. Like, yeah, you're not going to be getting a lot of sleep every night, but you can get to sleep earlier when you get home, tighten up that evening routine and get up and boom, get it done. Get it done. First thing in the morning. And what another, another part that I want to break into is where you said right in the middle, it says, I started the 90 day dash. Um, and I can't complete it. Okay, so let's talk about I can't complete it. Let's talk about completing a program. Let's talk about completing something. That's, that doesn't really exist. It doesn't really exist. It's not like you complete the 90 day dash and then you're done. So I think the mentality of I'm struggling because you're not doing it day one, day two, the 90 day dash is designed for those issues and schedule. Why do you think I designed it the way I designed it? You can manipulate it and adjust it. Is it exactly the way it's written? Of course not, but neither is your life. I didn't write it for your life. I wrote it so it can be molded to fit your lifestyle better. If you need to do two workout days in a row, then do two workout days in a row. As long as they're not total body or adjust the volume, do it, make it happen, make it work for you. Post up in the group about the program schedule reach out. Hey, can I do these on these two days? Sure. Yes. And you'll get feedback. Like you have the time. It's just not convenient. And I will tell you, if you keep on trying to do it in the evening, you will fucking, you'll never get it done as case in point. You're not doing it. So stop thinking that you're going to have energy at the end of the day. You're not going to do it first. Do it first. That's your ticket. Do it first thing in the morning. First thing, first thing, because if you're tired and you're exhausted, then everything you're doing at night is going to be to wrap that shit up and get in fucking bed. And if you're a full-time advanced nursing student, okay, well, then healthcare is important to you and being healthy. Don't be a hypocrite. It's crazy how they want you to get into the health field, but they destroy your health with coursework and low. It's like, Jesus Christ, you know, do you really need all that work at home? Why can't when you're, this is so fucking weird. This is so weird with education. Tell me if this is weird, if this makes sense. Okay. She goes to school and we've all gone to school. Most of us have gone to some sort of school. It's fucking weird. I don't like this at all. If you go to school from seven to what, what, what did she say? Seven to she gets home at five. So she's at school from 7.20 to four. 7.20 to four. Okay. That's nine fucking hours. She's there for nine fucking hours. Are you telling me that they can't teach her what she needs to know for that day in nine fucking hours? You are in one location for nine hours. You can make sick fucking gains in the gym, working out five hours a week. Of course, including eating right and sleeping right. Of course, it's, you know, most, it's the entirety of lifestyle. Nine hours in one day, and you have to give additional work afterwards. Here's your homework to do after we sent you. It's this illusion that this is why they feel like they can charge that much money. Why can't you teach someone what's there and then have, and then have them take a test or whatever when they're there the next time for nine fucking hours. Why does there have to be stuff that has to be done at home? Why does there have to be, you could, you could study, but there shouldn't be homework. It should be like, Oh, we have a test. You study for it. 
here's the homework. What I do now with video, with editing, with distribution, with marketing, I have a fucking, I'm better than anyone that's getting a degree. I guarantee it. Do I know the technical word for different systems? Do I know oh, that's that phrase or that's that method? It doesn't matter. I'm fucking doing it. And I taught myself. Okay. I taught myself fitness. I learned the fucking shit that I learned in college. Get the fuck out of here. You think that gave me the information that I have in my brain? It gives me perspective and experience. College is a fucking joke. It's a joke in the big scheme of things. Doesn't mean you can't learn shit, but unless you're going and you're learning a specific task, they're just teaching you shit and trying to make it valuable enough so they can justify 150 grand over four years, 20, 30 grand a year, whatever the fuck it is. That's all it is. It's so much better to go and take a course. Hey, I want to learn how to edit videos. Then go online, spend a hundred bucks for an online course, take it and learn or go on YouTube and dig through it. That's it. That's, that's, that's what you have to do because then you invest the time. And why do you, why is that so effective? Why do you think that's effective? Because if you're going to take a course to learn something that you want to learn because it's something that you need to do for something that you like, you're going to invest in it. You're going to love it. You're going to learn it. You're going to pay attention. You're going to put in the hours. You don't need to be forced to go and do homework for six hours after you were here for nine hours and come back for nine hours. And here's another six hours of homework and then come back for nine hours tomorrow. That's why it's 30 fucking grand because they have to do that to justify to the government to give you fucking loans with interest rates that you can't pay back. So you're going to become a nursing, you're going to become a nurse and then you're going to be paying back loans for 30 fucking years. It's a scam. It's a horrific scam. It's a fucking scam. A horrific fucking scam. Horrific scam. My advisor in college said the best thing. He goes, okay. If you're not sure what you want to do, I went to school for four fucking years, have a degree in exercise science, and then hold on a second. Hold on a second. Something just popped up. Uh, let's see here. So the, the education system is fundamentally broken. What I've learned from training was even the certification. The certification held the CSCS certification. That's one of the highest certifications you can get. You need a four-year degree to even take it. That's a fucking joke. They're all a joke. They want CEUs. They want you to keep on going to their things. They give you this fucking biased ideology and nutrition is garbage and they just want to make it a hard test so it hurts your brain and you almost pass. Oh my God, I have this. And you show a gym or you show an insurance company. Look, I know the things you don't know jack shit. There's no fucking hands-on. They can't teach you in a certification. They can't give you 10 years of experience. The stuff that I knew after 10 years of personal training versus a college degree and the top certification, it's scary how much you fucking learn. And it's all experience and it's experience from me learning on the job and doing it myself in the gym and applying my knowledge and my command of the information is because I'm passionate about fitness and doing it for me. So I did it all. It wasn't what I learned in a fucking classroom. It's not what I learned in a fucking textbook. That stuff is cool information, but it's only how you apply it and how they tell you how to apply it. It doesn't work in a business standpoint. It doesn't work when you're a personal trainer. It doesn't fucking work. It doesn't work. It doesn't translate over into a business. It doesn't translate over into clients that stay. It doesn't. It literally doesn't. That's why I fucking hate the fitness industry. It's all backwards. You have people that come into the fitness industry that are enjoying it because they love fitness, but they don't realize all the fucking garbage that they have to go through and what they have to pay attention to and what you should know from a certification and what is bullshit, what is good information, but it's good information for you. Clients don't fucking care. It's not going to keep them around. And the problem with being a personal trainer is that you have to make your workouts entertaining because people don't understand that it's relentless, boring fucking work. If you want real results, you might love it, but it's repetitive. It's the same fucking shit. 99% of the time over and over and over and over again. And if you want it to be entertaining, you're going to be one of those people that looks like you do fitness for entertainment. You're going to look like you go to Zumba class a lot. You're going to look like one of those people. 
And that's a generality. Not everyone is going to look like shit, but you know what I'm saying? If you do something for fun, you're going to look like you do it for fun. If you take it seriously, you're going to look like you take it seriously. So it, it's different now though. It's different. I was like the last generation or start of like, oh shit. I was one of the last scammed classes. I would think in, in college. I mean, not the last, I mean, everyone's getting scammed now, but I was one of the last where internet just kind of like really went into it. So Facebook really like started blowing up in 2002, 2003. I graduated in 05. So that's when Facebook, I said, blow up. Facebook started. So it was bare, ba ba basic groups. Not every college was on it. So when I was in college, it was only for colleges. You couldn't even get it if you were just a dude. So the information, so everything wasn't, things were available, but it wasn't the same thing as it is now. So it was still perceived as, oh, that's what you do. Oh, you go and you study this. Oh, you go and study that. Fuck. <laughs> My God, if you want to be a personal trainer, the last thing that you should do is go and get a degree. Don't get a four-year fucking degree. How do I know I did it? Don't do it. Don't do it. Did I learn shit? Sure. Did I do stuff in that degree that you'll never get from a certification or a PT course or an online course? Absolutely. fucking -lutely. There's a lot of stuff that I learned and there's a lot of stuff that I did that you will not get an opportunity to do or know about unless you really do a lot of YouTube videos because what does college do? It prepares you. What does it prepare you for? For more college. It prepares you for graduate school. It's that system like, hey, we got them out of, it's a tripwire. It's like a tripwire. It's like any kind of like, hey, we sold them this. Maybe we can sell them this. Oh, we got them for four years for a hundred. Maybe we can get them for two years for 90 afterwards. Hey, here's an advanced, here's a master's. Oh, you know what? No, that, 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 that used to, that, that's a master's, but we could get more money if we call it a doctorate. So what should we do? Oh man, let's, um, I'll tell you what, let's make it three years. Let's call it a doctorate. Let's add a couple more, like a little residence. Let's, let's add like a, a little bit more hands-on and we'll add a couple more electives here. And then we can call it a doctorate and charge 120. Cool. Done. That's what happened with physical therapy. It used to be a master's. Now it's a doctorate. It doesn't need to be a fucking doctorate. Two fucking years. Give me a break. You need three years for that shit. Get the fuck out of here. If you could ever do it in two, you can still do it in two. With technology, you could probably do it in a year and a half, especially if you did good in school and you understand it and you keep up with it. You need to fucking do three fucking years. You could probably do six months to a year and then do the, a second year of all hands-on internship residency. It's fucking three years. It's stupid. It's stupid scam. Anyway, so... Yeah, if I ever have kids, absolutely homeschool, absolutely none of that bullshit. And if any of you are in school, I'm, you know, this is just the fucking truth of my pers my perspective. Is how I see it. Uh, not a good idea. Unless if you're trying to be a doctor, okay. If you're trying, like, if you want to be a nurse, if that's like your that from the previous post, if you want to be a nurse, look, you have to. If you want to be a lawyer, you have to. If you want to do business. You don't have to. Marketing, you don't have to. Fitness, just the fuck out of here. The fuck out of here. The problem with fitness or doing that higher level education without experience, without actually like personally, is that it's just a piece of paper. You ever see those people that on Instagram, they list every fucking certification they have. They put like nine in the, in the, in the bio Hey, PHS, MHS, this, FNS, FNS, CPT, EPIZ, EPIZ, OPD, you know, all these like five, six fucking, so what? You have nine certifications. Cool. I've met a lot of people that have nine certifications. It's like anything else. You're compensating for something. You're compensating, proving, showing, hey, I know these things. You passed a test. Cool. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Do you know what the fuck you're talking about? Do you know what you're talking about? Personal training is a social thing. You're good by spitting back what a book says. Can you actually apply it to an individual safely in person over a long term? Can you keep them inspired? Can you keep them consistent? Can you keep them like, <laughs> if you, if you want to do, if you want to be a personal trainer, I mean, if anything, if you want to be, a, if you want to be a personal trainer, get a, if you want to get a personal trainer, get a, and in a gym, get a certification. And if you want to do anything, if you have to go to school, 
then choose a psych major. That's it. If you want to do anything with people, anything with people, I think even from a business standpoint, it's like fucking go intern somewhere, but study psychology or something like that. So at least you're reading stuff and you're thinking or philosophy. At least it gets you thinking, you know, I mean, a philosophy major. What a waste. That's a waste of fucking money. Just read some books. God, it's fucking frustrating. Frustrating seeing like, especially today with the internet. My God, my God, 15 years ago. Okay. You know, but today fucking run. I see all these people, all these girls on TikTok. I'm in school and school. I'm like, Jesus Christ. People still go to school. I was like, I'm, I'm makes me fucking a little nauseous. Makes me a little nauseous when I see all these girls and I see like Arizona and this. Like, holy shit. People are still going to school for what? What the fuck could you possibly be going to school for today? You know? Oh, I'm doing electives. It's my freshman year. I'm just doing some intro courses. For what? For what? Go read a book. Go, go read and make TikToks and make your money doing TikToks and read and study and do whatever the fuck you want. Go to school. So I have something to fall back on. Learn a skill. Don't just learn how to spit back what someone tells you to do. Hey, think this way. Okay. Hey, answer this. Okay. Did I do good? Yeah, you answered it right. Okay, thank you. Can I get a cookie? Can I get an A? Um, you got a B plus. Oh, come on, please. Can I do extra credit? Okay. Can I get an A? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Did I do good, daddy? Did I do good? Fuck that shit. That fucking shit. Fucking stupid. Stupid. All right, I'm pissed off. The education system shit. Whew, rant over. All right, this is from Nicole. We got another little thing we got to deal with. Come on, come on, fam. Let's go. Let's go. Swole fam. Swole fam time. Need the, need the assistance of the fam. This is from Nicole. So I was doing pretty well with the 90-day dash. Then I was taken out of action for several months ooh, by a back and nerve injury. The funny thing is I don't remember exactly what I did to injure my back, but whatever it was, I did it and I did it well. I'm sorry to hear that. I finished a few months of PT correction. It's through the end of the month, which has been very helpful to uh, for the back, but not for the nerve though. That's going to require neurology follow-up. Since being sidelined, I lost 35 pounds through drastically cleaning up my diet and have been able to keep walking and distance races. I'm not yet cleared for lifting weights and have no idea when I will be because of the nerve issue. So restarting the 90 day dash is out for now. However, I'm cleared to restart yoga so I'm diving back into Swolga, which I have missed doing. Uh, what I want to do um, is actually talk about the previous post because I didn't follow through with it. When I was saying completing the 90-day dash, you never finish. You never stop. This is the first, like, so don't worry about completing. I have to restart it. Oh, I stopped. I got stuck for a couple days in week four, so I start from the beginning. That's not how it fucking works because even when you get to the end of the 90-day dash, we'll come back to this post in a second, but for previous from Lauren's, even if you finish the 90 day dash, you're not done. You're just getting started. It's 90 fucking days. Like serious. If you just, if you just look at it differently, you're not stopping. So what's the difference? You're not completing shit. You're finishing the first part. So keep on going. You missed a couple days. So you missed a couple days, do a workout, double up or you know, you skip one workout on a Friday. Okay, let me just get back to it on Saturday. Oh, I missed that yoga, but I feel okay. So lift again. It's not going to, you're not going to die. You're not going to, right? So psychologically, you're beating yourself up, a lot of you, more, which is why we have the Swole Fam, which is why we do this, which is why we talk about it. You're not done. You don't complete anything. You just make one step. So when, when you walk up a, a flight of stairs, when you step up, when you get to that next little level, when you turn, if you go like up a zigzag, you know, stairs, so you go up the stairs and you hit the platform. I completed it. You're like, cool, I made it. I need to go up four more, five more, six more, seven more, three more flights. It's like, hey, I completed it. Congratulations. Yay. You don't think that. You're like, yeah, I did it. I climbed the stairs. You just keep on going, which is what you have to do. You keep on going. Keep on climbing. Keep on climbing, bish. Keep on climbing. Keep on climbing, bish. Oh, oh. Yow. Yow. So sorry to hear that, Nicola, you're dealing with it, but restart yoga. That's it. I mean, you reached out pretty much. That was a matter of fact statement. You were doing pretty well. You're fine. Things happen. I'm glad you're getting it addressed professionally and do the yoga. I'm glad you're clear for it. diving back into Swolga. 
you'll be good to go in no time. Just keep on doing it. Good for you. That's some good shit. All right, here we go. Okay, we got a post from Beck. We got a brand new member, so welcome, 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 welcome. Uh, from Beck, she says, Hello, fam. I've been following the YouTube channel for a while, and I finally decided to join the family. Welcome to the fam. Welcome, welcome. Thought I would introduce myself. I'm Beck. I live in Scotland. I've been overweight most, if not all, my life. One of my heaviest weights was about 340 pounds, I'd estimate, as I never weighed myself at my true heaviest. Now I sit at 308 pounds and I want to finally get this weight off and be healthy for once. I have high blood pressure, which was reaching hypertension crisis levels, spiking at 250 over 200. The doctors said I should have had a stroke or a heart attack, but by some miracle I didn't, which is, that's a good miracle. This is when I knew I had to get my weight under control to help myself. I look forward to getting to know people and have a community that helps each other. So welcome back. Oh, oh, oh. Welcome to the fam. <laughs> welcome, 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 welcome. Glad you're here. And holy shit, let's get that blood pressure down, shall we? Shall we? Now, of course, we're not medical professionals, but glad that you're here and glad that you are losing weight or have lost. You're at 340. Now you're at 308. And you just saw that amazing story before, did we not? Just saw that... Uh, you just saw that story before of, there we go, where is this? Bottom, bottom. The story with, oh, we missed, I, oh, I missed one. I missed a post. We'll go over that one too. Back. Oh, we got two more. We'll go back to this one. Oh, perfect. Wait, where's this one? Here we go. So this is a good post for you, Beck. So check that out. If you didn't see it earlier, if you're just joining to the, if you're just joining the Swolecast right now. So we have this one earlier from Sarah and Sarah said that she lost 170 pounds. Woo. A hundred, a hundred and 70 pounds. So if she lost that much, you can too. So she was 360 and Beck says she was, she was 340. So now Sarah is sitting at 190. She lost 170 pounds. So Beck, use that as inspiration, inspiration. You can do it. If Sarah can do it, you can fucking do it too. And you're in the right place because Sarah did it in the fam. Ho, oh, zoomed in oh, a little, a little up close and personal, but you liked it. You all liked it. Don't pretend like you didn't. You fucking liked it. All right, here we go. We got, we need some also, we need a little, we need a little more help. We need a little more help with the swole fam. Uh, with this one, William has a little bit of a, a little sideline action, but I think we, I think he'll get this locked down. Uh, William says, uh, swole fam, hope you're having a great night. You smashed something or did something to make yourself better for tomorrow. I like how he opens up with like, Hey, I hope you're crushing it, fam. I hope you're getting it. I'm doing my best to get it too, but I hope at least you're fucking getting it. So respect. I myself had a setback. I pulled and st or strained my lower back in the gym and I went for medical advice, had to make sure it wasn't something spinal. Good news is no disc damage. Bad news, I'm supposed to not load my spine for the next eight weeks to let it heal. Luckily, Swolnormous X is always in an open tab on my phone and I asked the doc if he had a few more minutes to point out things specifically that he doesn't want me to do. At the end of our, I'll zoom in a little bit because you'll be able to see that better. At the end of our seven minute conversation, I got a good understanding of what I can do without hindering progress. I am upset mostly with myself. I had gone a little too hard and trained through an awkward pain or pinch despite listening to, <laughs> despite listening to the philosophy where Papa Swolio talks about listening to your body and not doing that. <laughs> so listen to Papa. That's why, y'all, that's why I made it. Y'all, 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 y'all. <sighs> All right, well, lesson learned. <laughs> Uh, and now I need to stop doing barbell squat and deadlifts for two months, which are my favorite exercises. So fuck the physical therapist is quite happy to see how much yoga is programmed into what I'm doing. And quote, if you can do more, even better, I'm going to meditate on that today, but I'm pretty sure, hold on. I'm just trying to zoom in. I'm going to meditate on that today, but I'm pretty sure where I'm ending up is a slightly early exit from the swole season program, but a start to my second round of 90 day dash. So good for you, William. It sounds like you have it. It sounds like you got a good team of people. If you're cleared for yoga and they're down with you continuing and you're cleared for that, you're not in that bad. You're not in a bad shape. You really aren't. I mean, I'm not, of course, not a medical. I'm not going to say, hey, you're fine. You could do this. 
but you're cleared for yoga. Your therapist is pleased with it. I mean, you have people that are aware of yoga that support that, which is good. And I, I think, unfortunately, unfortunately, the medical community, when something happens, hey, take eight weeks off. That's so standard. Oh, just take eight weeks off to let it heal. It's like, hey, don't touch it. See if it gets better. It's kind of like when you call up for customer service when something's wrong with your computer. Did you restart it? If anyone doesn't know now, if something's fucked up with your phone or laptop or computer, just restart it. Just restart it. They ask that because 99% of the time it works. And he's saying, take eight weeks off because 99% of the time, yeah, you strain your muscle a little bit and it's going to get better. But anyway, you know, even if you did that on your own and you just thought about, hey, I'm not going to do squats or deadlifts for a little bit because of my back, yeah, it's like standard practice. There you go. Here's a couple hundred bucks, doc. Yeah, don't touch it for a little while. Cool. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for your medical help. Thanks for your medical help. No, it's good. It's good. Now you went there to make sure that you didn't slip a disc or like, hey, nothing is weird because sometimes you get swelling or you might feel something moving around. It's good. I'm just fucking around, but it's also true. I'm fucking around, but you guys know it's true. So glad that you, <laughs> I just noticed this part here. Just noticed this part here where he goes at the, I don't know if this was, you were trolling or you were just saying this. Check this out. Hold on. Hold on. Right here. At the end of our seven minute conversation, I'm going to the doctor. Thank you. Thank you for the seven minutes. Oh, thank you, sir. May I have another? Oh, thank you, sir. May I have another minute? Oh, thank you, sir. May I have another minute? Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, thank you for the seven. I appreciate it. Arms for next lepa. As a programmer, I can confirm that turning a device off and back on is a valid solution in many cases. It totally is, and it works. It totally works. That's why I'm saying it. So, I mean, here the, the case in point, hey, my back hurts. Yeah, I rested for eight weeks. Hey, six to eight weeks, eight to 12 weeks. They're even numbers. No one's going to say, rest it for 10 weeks. Rest it for nine weeks. You know what? Rest it for five weeks. It's an even number. Take a month off, six weeks, eight weeks. Six to eight weeks is a good one. It's a good number, six to eight weeks. No one says eight to 10 weeks. Eh, it would be eight weeks two months, three months, eight weeks, 12 weeks. Uh, that's a whole different conversation though. Uh, Will, the PT, the PT tried to tell me not to do deadlifts ever again. LOL. <sighs> Never again. Um, well, I'm not going to, I'm not going to address that per your particular situation. If anyone told him, I'd be like, um, first off, fuck that shit. I literally, I would literally modify and adjust things. The thing about deadlifts, and I talked about this on a previous podcast, like what haven't we talked about, but when it comes to deadlifts, people lift from that standard position, the height of a 45 or a bumper plate, the bar, that position, that grip, that way there's hex bars, there's dumbbells. You could raise the bar up six inches will make all the difference. You don't have to to lift from the bottom of the ground. You don't have to go all the way fucking down. All the way down. All the way down. You don't have to fucking go from the ground. Why? It's a standard thing from a competition standpoint, but you don't have to deadlift from that location. You can lift a little bit higher. You can lift from a little bit higher. You can lift from a little bit of a higher block. You don't have to lift it from ground zero. It's cool from a competition when everyone has to do the same thing. It's standardized, like the SATs. We all got to take the same test and use the fucking same paper and be in the same place at the same time. Okay. Why does everyone have to do deadlifts the same? Seriously, if you want to, because sometimes when you're going from the bottom, especially when you are going super heavy, it's a much higher risk. Like any lift, if you're benching 200 pounds, it's a risk. If you're benching 250, I don't care what your strength is. Even if you're the strongest person in the world, 50 pounds more is generally an increased risk. If you drop 50 pounds, there's the potential to do more damage than 20 pounds. The same would be said for if it was 500 versus 200. 200 is going to be a much bigger problem. So if you're doing deadlifts, let's say you take the bar and you use, let's say, blocks under the weights and you elevate the bar position, however you do it, even standard straight bar, overhand, close, whatever it is, six inches makes all the difference. Now, now your back is flat. You're lifting from a strong position and then you, and you lifted 
because most people can't lift from that. Most people don't have the ankle flexibility. Most people don't have the hip flexibility. Most people don't have the posterior, the spinal, the thoracic range of motion. People don't have activated muscles in their back. Everyone's rounded forward. You don't just change that all of a sudden because, hey, I'm going to pay attention and keep a flat back. You can't activate those muscles. You have scar tissue essentially and tight muscles and imbalances that can't be rectified just because you decide to in the moment. You might see or seem to have alignment in the mirror, but on the inside, your body is straining, overstraining to keep that position, whereas someone who has more mobility will be in that position comfortably and be, at, be more mechanically advantageous. But you might be in a position where those stabilizers on your spine, the multifidus muscles and all these little tiny muscles are at their max capacity just trying to get you straight. And then when you go to lift that weight, pop, because they weren't, they're not able to keep that position under load because you're starting from a shit position and your posture is fundamentally fucked. So I think if you're doing deadlifts from the floor, maybe for your warm up when you go heavier, I say for the fucking the most, most of you, if you're not competing, raise the bar, legit, raise the fucking bar, change the position. Don't do a standard. It's, you don't have to. You don't have to. It's a common, it's an ego lift. It's the same kind of fucking ego lift, just like, just like the bench press. Why do you have to press in that form with that bench in that standard? Why? There's dumbbells. You can change your grip. There's incline. There's different grip positions. Who cares what anyone else says? Well, you have to grab it here. So your elbows go here. Fine. You know, there really is no wrong movement. There's just movements you're not prepared to do. If your body is trained to work in a certain way since you were born, your joints are going to move a little bit differently. Your bone structure is going to work a little bit differently. If you're a 70-year-old dude and you've been doing behind-the-neck pulldowns since you were 10, you're probably not going to have any shoulder pain because your shoulders are probably open and formed and used to that movement. Oh my God, behind-the-neck pulldowns are the worst. I do them on occasion with certain very light weight, with certain limited range of motion just because I know my body and I'll do them from a certain angle to hit a different muscle real short or certain ways, I don't go like, most people do those wrong. I'm not saying you should. It's very, 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 very specific circumstances in which you would do something like that because it is higher risk. And for the current population and the way people's shoulders are formed and posture, it's a strong no. And I will always say no across the board to anyone that asks me, never fucking do that shit. However, some people can. And of course, there's an application for everything, everything. So you got to be careful. And that's what experience teaches you. It's like, get the fuck out of here. Because there's some shit that, some things that I do that I love, that have made amazing gains, that have given me an amazing leg up, an amazing perspective and hit things in amazing fucking ways. That's what she said. Oh, she said, oh. I can't wait. I can't wait to fucking hit the gym, Pedro. I can't wait to go. I'm going right after this. I can't wait to get fucking <laughs> I rarely do flat bench. I don't like flat bench at all. I don't like it. Don't like it. Don't like it. Think of flat bench is for fucking pussies. Look at being a big fucking baby. Stop being such a baby. Stop whining. Stop it. Come on. Stop whining. <clears throat> all right, here we go. Uh, last, uh, last story post swole fam share for today. This one's from Stefania. And for most people, you'll see this name and think, ah, it's Stephanie. And it is Stephanie. I just like to say Stefania. This is from Stephanie. And she says, hello, fam. I just signed up for an annual. All right, we're gonna start that one again. I need some, we need a water break. That's why I'm parched. We'll do that right after. Okay. I'll start again from Stephanie. Hello, fam. Hello, and welcome to Movie Phone. If you know the name of the movie you'd like to see, press 1. Hello, fam. I just signed up for an annual unlimited membership, so I wanted to say hello. Oh, hello. I'm looking forward to being a part of this community and making my health a priority. At first, I wasn't sure if I was going to fit in, so I signed up for the uncensored membership. Uh, but after being in this Facebook group for about a week, I knew I belonged. The diversity and support in this group is outstanding. I'm really looking forward to starting Brain Gains. So I wanted to say welcome to Stephanie and welcome, welcome, welcome. And I'm super stoked that you uh, went to go unlimited. Make sure, Stephanie, if you're watching or listening to this, make sure you sign up for Swole Text. Check out the Get Started series. Sign up and make sure you send me a message 
and I'll try to keep an eye out for you. We got a few Stephanies, but um, make sure you respond for the next wall text you get. And I'd love to hear a little bit more about you. So congratulations for joining and welcome to the Swole fam. <laughs> All right. All right. Here we go. We got a little water break coming. So first let's get a little water break. My, I'm a little bit parched. These things are great. I love this little EOS things or whatever they call them. What is it? EOS. I love it. Cause you just like roll it around. <laughs> They're very smart. They made it very like, hmm, it's nice to play with. It's like one of these things. For, a friend of mine gave this to me. One of those little fidget things. You ever see these? It's like, I don't know who gets off with light switches. A fucking weird kink. Mm. Oh, so exciting. You get this one. This one's like a little nip. It's like, ready? Yeah. Then you got these over here. Ooh, buttons. Then you have, uh, the lock thing, which is weird. This weird ball thing. Everyone's like just diddling their clit over here. Everyone's just like, eh, 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 Eh. I mean, I don't really do anything with it. It sits here, but I probably should. But fidgeting is, it's weird. It's fantastic. Everyone's like, oh, fidget boxes. But I also feel like it's just a waste of energy and time. If you're doing this, you need to meditate and calm down. You shouldn't just be like, your leg shaking. Probably getting too much sugar. You need to chill out. So I don't really use it because I don't like this whole... You know, sometimes I, I usually just hold it and I'll like, I don't know. I tend not to pick this thing up because it's black and I don't see it. I don't pick it up because Papa Solio is racist. I don't pick it up because it's black. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like the, I don't like those black boxes. Yeah. I don't like black box. Yeah. Yeah. I like this one because it's beige. Flesh colored. Just like that. Yeah. Flesh colored. Yeah. That's, that's the way, that's the way skin should look. Yeah. Yeah. See? Uh, a little bit too white for me. It's like Chinese. It's like Asian. It's like Asian. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> look, hey, for anyone that thinks, look, Hydro Flask is black. Hey, oh. All right. Okay. Tess Holiday. Tess Hornaday. She's. She's black. She's black from the. She's she's black from the horn down. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yes. Yes, you are. You're not racist, are you? You're so cute. So cute. All right. Water break beach says, all right, let's wrap this up. Time for daddy to go get this pump on. Want to get pumped. Want to make some sick fucking gains. Here we go, fam. Water break. Come on, kitty. Let's go, kitty. Come on, kitty. Come on, kitty. Let's go. It's party time. I know. I know. Here we go. Dance time. Tres, dos, y uno. Bye. Hey. Hey. What's going on, kitty? Hmm. Good kitty, yes. Meow. Yeah, good kitty. Meow. Shush, dance, dance kitty. Meow. Dance kitty. Mmm. Mmm. Good kitty. Good kitty. Mmm. -hmm. Oh, aren't you such a good dancer? You're so good. Good kitty. Not a good kitty. Use your cool kitty. Use your cool kitty. Use your cool kitty. Good. Excellent. Well done. Well done. Will I forget the card again? Uh, yeah, I actually was going to forget the card. Very well said. I was because I don't have one written because I forgot to get the new pack. So new pack is opening, but Swole Fam. Swole Fam 1371. So hashtag Swole Fam and pretend like these two seven pillars, which will go out soon. Um, the next batch. So hashtag Swole Fam. You're going to get the card that I will write, that I will write, um, in just a moment. Let's see here. Uh, let's see here. Bum, bum, ba, Actually, you know what? Let me get this, uh, let me get this card. Let me get the, let me get the card fresh. So what I'll do is I'm going to play like, I'm going to play a little song 
I'll play a little, we'll do a little dance again, but you can look at, uh, <laughs> you're going to have the weirdest, fu you're, I I'm really going to, we're going to take this, we're going to take this podcast to the next level. All right. So I'm going to go grab a, it's right over here. I'm going to go grab another card. Okay. So stay tuned. Cause if you want to win, all right. So I'll play a little music and you guys can enjoy the view while I, um, I, I grab this card. Okay. So we'll make sure, make sure you guys have something. Make sure everyone's focused. Okay. Here we go. All right. Here we go. Okay. It's a little, a little, a little music, a little music. There you go. Okay. All right. You got it. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. stop whining all right there we go there we go awkward awkward yeah it's weird because i can't hear my voice we could do it without the headset disco disco we could do it without the headset but then i don't know how loud i'm talking and then i'm gonna talk too loud and it's weird when i don't hear my voice in my ear can't do a podcast like this anymore let's hit this shit sorry yeah you get a lot of like extra noise you get a lot of extra noise because I'd be like hitting this thing and not knowing that's making noise. And it's good to have that feedback all the time. I'm thirsty for some Gibson. You know what? I think I'm going to find, I think I'm going to, I'll make that happen. I'll make that happen. For some reason, for some reason, I think we have like Mel Gibson is going to be a new, we got a new thing. I wonder if I can, I need to make a Mel Gibson gif. Someone send me a Mel Gibson gif, like a, a transparent Mel Gibson gif, and we'll add him to the, the thirst. Maybe that maybe that's what we'll just use. We'll just use the Mel Gibson whenever I need to like take a break or like go get something. Bathroom break and it'll be like Mel Gibson's face. I need a new song though. Should, should I make it be like everybody loves somebody sometimes. Even when they leave drunken voicemails. If your beard is black and white, Mel Gibson, Mel Gibson and his Oreo cookie beard. <laughs> Oreo cookie, Oreo cookie face. And the funny thing is I'm looking at it right now. I'm like, hello, Mel. How you doing? Hi, Mel. I need to have a little Mel Gibson head. Ooh, if you could find Mel Gibson eating an Oreo cookie, we could do that. Huh, huh. I need to have like one of those ventriloquist like little cutouts. I could do that. Did that for one of my Britney Dawn videos. I'm not going to do it, but I could. Beer, boom, 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 boom. Swole. How do you spell fam? Swole. Fam. Papa with this card comes great responsibility. Dun 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 thirteen seventy one thirteen seventy one you motherfucking beast thirteen seventy one thirteen seventy one we're making gains. All right, here we go. Making gains, making gains, taking names. Here we go. Let's do this. Let's see what we got here. Let's see. Let's choose someone scrolling. Let's see here. We got some music. Why well, scroll? We need some like scrolling music. I don't have, I need to get like one of those like a little circus. Like, doo -doo 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 -doo. We'll get that. Here we go. Scrolling. 
all of y'all talking, but I just went. Papa Spoli open up on the chain like Everson K2 get mounds of cash. Looked in the crowd, saw my name on the ass. You made them bad, now your money is spent. Swole fam, swole fam, here we go. Let's see here. Empire with honey like scrolling. I'm scrolling. My bennies are blue, but the product is yeah. great. I'm dropping slappers to hell with the scrolling, night. scrolling. Oh, go see Jimmy oh no, no. I multiply while you bury your talents, cause I'm like a hawk when I bury my talents. Guess what I'm saying? I'm scrolling. Pray on these niggas. There scrolling. was a day when I pray for these niggas. Swole now fam, swole fam, swole fam. I pray that God does away with these niggas. I keep my friends close, but my enemies close. So my mental is gross. Scrolling, so looking for a swole fam. Wild, but I'm not a poacher, so I just keep shining like Elon. I'm so lit. All of y'all talking. Annie Chenchar, congratulations. Hey, -o. congratulations. Congratulations, Annie. Anna Chencha. Anna Chencha. Good names. And Chencha. I know it's not Annie, but I'm like, I. I feel like like Mr. Miyagi. I Miyagi say uh Annie Chencha. Annie Chencha. I. A uh, swole card. A swole card. Ch -ch swole card. Ch -ch hey, my first swole card. Congratulations, Anne. I don't want to say Annie, but I want to say Anna Chencha. Uh, what's a, oh, uh, ooh, uh, my name? Oh, my name is Anna Chencha. I said Anna Chencha. They call me Anna Chencha. All right. I don't know why, but I just have these like thoughts and like these sounds in my head. Like I see a name, I'm like, ooh, Anna Chencha. So congratulations, Annie, congratulations. And everyone say congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. And everyone's saying in the comments, very good, very good. Congratulations, congratulations. Fucking savages, savages. You'll get one tomorrow if you show Come up on, tomorrow. Stop whining. Don't be a baby. You can, you'll have a card. We'll do it every day. Just 1371. We'll have thousands of these cards to give. So congratulations. Make sure you send us an email. Send me and a Pam and the Swole team an email to support at swolenormous.com with 1371, Swole card 1371 in the subject and your mailing address in the body of the email so you can get your Swole card and put it on your wall and look at it every day and be like, oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> it's so exciting. And thank you everyone um, for joining me for episode 1371. Reminder, if you did not yet download your Seven Pillars series, Make sure, fams, check your swole text because I sent them to you. But if you have not yet downloaded the entire series, The Seven Pillars, the audio, and the Beyond the Seven Pillars ebook with over 120,000. I want to do like the zoom in, 120,000 downloads. Go to swolenormousx.com and click on the link in the top, the top toolbar. You'll see it. it's in big red letters. It says, fucking download this. Fucking time. Download. The Seven Pillars of Solnormous. It's right there at the top, solnormousx.com. And I'll see you tomorrow for episode 1372 of the Most Muscular Swolecast, Beardcast, Broadcast, Gamecast, Mancast, Pimpcast, Sleececast, and Slaycast in the realm. Because when I flex, you flex. We all flex our biceps. Peace, McGee's fam. Deuce, McGoose. Yeah, boy. Papa Swolio. Ho, 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 ho. Out.